This is an experiment because the researchers imposed a treatment that lowered water temperature on the dolphins. If the researchers had instead simply recorded the hormone levels of dolphins found at different water temperatures, it would be an observational study. The experimental units are each of the four dolphins because they are the actual individuals that are having the treatment either applied or not. We can group these experimental units into a group that receives the treatment, called the treatment group, and a group that does not, called the control group. The control group is the dolphins that were housed in the pools that had unaltered the ambient water temperatures. The treatment group is the dolphins that were housed in the pools that the researchers reduced the water temperatures. The explanatory variable is the water temperature. The response variables are the cortisol and aldosterone levels. We know this because the explanatory variable is applied or altered to the treatment group. The response variable is what is measured and compared between the treatment and control groups. Now these hormone levels vary, so we expect some differences to just naturally occur between the control and the treatment group of dolphins. But statistical significance means the cortisol and aldosterone levels of the dolphins from the low water temperature pools were so different than those of the control group, it would be very rare to observe differences that extreme by chance. Therefore, there's evidence the water temperature is affecting the hormone levels. If you like this video and want to learn more about collecting data through sampling and experiments, check out this playlist. We cover sampling methods, bias, simple random samples, experiments, and more.